have some cooler temperatures on the way as we head into next week. Look at this, a string of 80s on the way, but we do have some 90s still to get through. Today, we're looking at high near 97. Tomorrow, we'll start to see that transition into fall. It is the astronomical start of fall. And then Monday, we'll likely see our highs topping out in the lower 80s. As we have a front that moves in, it's going to bring us some cloud cover and some scattered showers to the area as well. We don't have any rain for today. We're going to see those bright blue skies, some afternoon clouds mixing in. Denton City at 82 degrees right now, but feeling like 86 already this morning. Feels like 86 in Waxahachie, 90 is what it feels like in Hillsboro, 84 in Corsicana, and 85 in Greenville right now. So that humidity is sticking with us for the first part of the weekend. The pups, they're probably going to request a dip in the pool like Archie here to help cool them off. That's a great place for the humans to be as well because by 2 o'clock, we're already at 94 degrees and then even heading into 6 p.m. We're still looking at those mid 90s, but tomorrow is the autumnal equinox. We're going to have nearly 12 hours of daytime and 12 hours of nighttime. And then for our first full day of fall on Monday, it's actually going to feel like the season. But on first alert future cast, we're starting you off tomorrow morning. We'll likely have a few more clouds in the area. A lot of us are going to stay dry on Sunday. It's really the northwest areas that could see some showers and thunderstorms towards the evening hours, and that's because of the front starting to move in. So you guys are going to be cooler for Sunday afternoon. That front will continue to shift down to the southeast overnight into Monday morning. So we'll likely have a couple of showers on first alert radar as you're heading off to work and school on Monday, maybe even hear a rumble of thunder. And then this front is going to kind of stall out over the area, but our rain chances are going to taper off towards Monday day afternoon. Although we are going to see a couple more disturbances moving in Tuesday into Wednesday, so we will continue to see some scattered showers in the area. But next week, we're really going to be keeping an eye on the tropics, especially in the Gulf, for that medium chance of development of what could potentially become Helene next week. So areas along the north central Gulf Coast and then especially the eastern Gulf Coast really need to keep a close eye on that system. But for us, that first alert seven day forecast looking more like fall and the start of this day fair Friday looking pretty good so far, Robbie. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I can't